Five Star Life video curriculum. I'm Coach Seth, and I'm here to coach you and challenge you to live a five-star life. See, in my life, I had incredible mentors and coaches that would evaluate me. They would say, this is where Seth is now, but I see him up here. I, my job is to push him and coach him to get to his potential. That's what we want to do for you. And every year we have a theme. And this year our theme is fearless. And we're going to teach you how to overcome the fears that could hold you back from living up to your potential. Think about this. What if you didn't let fear hold you back from pursuing and becoming the person you want to be and achieving your dreams? Now, I know most of us, like, we, we don't want to admit that we're afraid, right? We know that being afraid is a sign of weakness, so we wouldn't admit that we have any fears, right? We're fearless. Coach said, I'm fearless. But research says something different. It says that we have a lot of fears. We have a lot of insecurities. You know, there's a fear that we're not going to fit in. There's a fear that people are going to reject us or make fun of us. There's a fear that we just don't have what it, what it takes to succeed in school or in life, that we're going to be failures. We have all these different fears or insecurities, fear that people are going to just turn their backs on us. There's so many fears. But actually, the American Psychiatric Association, they have a list of like 99 different fears or phobias that they've documented. For example, acrophobia is the fear of heights. Scolionophobia is the fear of school. Some of you are afraid just to be in school. That's a real legitimate fear. Uh, now, some of the fellas out there may have venestrophobia, which is the fear of beautiful women. Yeah, some of y'all might have that. <laughs> might be a little nervous going up to a pretty girl. Or how about this one? Poganophobia, which is the fear of beards. I'm pretty sure NBA players who play against James Harden definitely have this fear. All joking aside, fear is a real factor in our lives and one of the greatest fears that you and I have is the fear of change. We are creatures of habit. We like routines that we can count on, that we can expect. We like knowing what's next. But unfortunately, life doesn't always fit that mold. Life is constantly happening to us. It's constantly evolving and changing and we can either choose to embrace that or we can resist it. We can love it or we can hate it. We can curse at change or we can say this is going to be a great blessing. But why is it that we fear change? We fear change because we've programmed ourselves to think the worst about change. We, instead of thinking something good is going to happen from this change, we think the worst case scenario. I'm going to do terrible this school year. What if my teachers don't like me? What if my friends turn their back on me? We think of all the what ifs, the what ifs, the what ifs, the negative, the negative, the negative. And what I want to challenge you to do is I want to challenge you rather than resisting change and thinking negatively, what if instead of thinking about what was wrong with the possible changes, you thought about what was right that could go right with the possible changes. And that comes down to the ability and the choice that you can learn to adapt. Rather than resisting, you can adapt, which simply means to reconfigure or modify your life. So whenever change happens, it should be a signal, hey, I need to make some changes. I need to modify my mindset, my behaviors, my actions to fit this opportunity. I've heard it said this way, that yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. And ultimately, your choice to resist change or adapt to change will determine your success this year. And it'll create a habit of being able to be adaptable and to change with these transitions of life and live this five-star life. That's what Eleanor did. Eleanor is one of our stellar five-star life students enrolled in our after-school program. And Eleanor signed up to uh, participate in our Summit Leadership Days, and she's at this ropes course. We have this incredible ropes course. It's scary. It's 40 feet up in the air. It's one of the biggest ropes courses uh, this side of the Mississippi River. And she signed up and she said, I want to go accomplish these obstacles. I'm going to overcome these fears. I'm going to do this. Now, the exceptional thing about Eleanor is she is blind. She has no visibility. Well, a lot of students make excuses for why they can't accomplish certain things. Eleanor is like, no, no, I'm going to go do this ropes course. People are kind of looking like, you sure you can do this? Like, you can't see. See, Eleanor, rather than having pity or feeling sorry for herself for being blind, which a lot of people, unfortunately, um, 
can look at people like Eleanor and people with disabilities and feel bad for them or feel pity and treat them differently. However, Eleanor has nothing to do with that. She's like, don't treat me any different. I, and her mindset is one that is adaptable. She's like, yeah, I'm blind. So I've learned how to adapt to living life as a blind person. Don't feel bad for me. Don't have a pity party for me because I'm not sitting around thinking about all the bad things about being blind. I'm thinking about all the things that are gonna go right in my life because I actually get to choose to adapt to this change and how do I modify my life? It's a beautiful mindset. Anyways, long story short, she went up, conquered the ropes course, and she just totally inspired all of her peers. She led really well. That's what happens when you can adapt quickly to change and handle change well. You set yourself up to be a leader and you love your life. I wanna challenge you to be like Eleanor. Rather than looking at the ropes course and thinking the worst about why you couldn't do it, why you can't do it, why this is going to be bad for you, think about what, why you can do it. Think about how this is going to benefit you. Be adaptable. My oldest son, Kobe, he has had all kinds of health issues, had Lyme's disease, which caused crippling pain in his bones, or literally at times he couldn't play sports or even walk. He then was diagnosed with scoliosis, which is a curvature of the spine. He has to wear a brace. Also, he was diagnosed with this crazy one in a million disease that actually causes his bones to swell up. Through it all, he looked at each one of these changes with an incredible mindset. He adapted each one and said, this is going to make me stronger. I think it goes back to when he was five or six. He fell and broke his arm. And it was a horrible day. And we had this tradition in our family. Every night before I'd tuck my guys in, I'd always talk to them about how awesome they are. And I'd talk about how great the day was. And I always finished by saying, man, today was a great day. But that day wasn't a great day. He broke his arm, he was in pain, his mom was out of town, uh, dad dropped the ball, and I'm walking out of the room and I hear Kobe say, Dad, today was a great day. See, that's an adaptable attitude. I may have broken my arm, but I'm gonna choose to adapt and this is gonna make me better, it's gonna make me stronger. One of the keys to it being adaptable is thinking the best is gonna happen and speaking the best over those situations. If you do that this year, this year is gonna be the most incredible year of your life. You're gonna to adapt to each change, to each transition. Good luck.